GE Lighting, a savant company, presents Seeds of Knowledge, daily lighting tips for your garden. By now, you've set up the ideal grow space for your leafy friends. You're watering, you're checking the soil, you've got Mozart on an endless loop. But what does your day-to-day -day lighting look like? Well, we'll show you. Let's talk about the lighting schedule for your plants. This all depends on a few key pieces of information. How much light does your plant need overall? And how much of that light does our grow light deliver in a certain time period? This info will determine exactly how long your lights need to be on, but most plants require between 12 to 18 hours per day. So moving on to balanced light spectrum and advanced red light spectrum, we recommend that you always start with the balanced light spectrum. The questions are, do you need to switch to advanced red light spectrum, and if so, when? Well, to answer the first question, that depends on your plants. If your plants are leafy greens that will never ever flower or grow fruit, like for example herbs, then you don't need to switch. You can simply use the balanced light spectrum through the life cycle of the plant. But if you have a plant that does flower and grow fruit, we recommend that you start with the balanced light spectrum during the seeding and budding stages of the plant's life. And we recommend you make the switch to advanced red light spectrum when you notice your first flowering or fruit set. At this point, your plant is going to need a higher concentrated dose of red light spectrum to help it reach its full growth potential. And that's it. We hope these lighting tips make your day-to-day -day growing a little growier. Want to learn more? Watch the next Seeds of Knowledge.